I'm going to show you guys something really special today. Yamanashi Prefecture, at the foot of Mount Fuji, is well known among hikers, wine, and nature lovers, but today I'm showing you a little travel secret. Five of the newest things to see and eat, photo-worthy spots, and hands-on private experiences you won't want to miss when you're there. <laughs> this is a first for me. <laughs> Feels delicious. <laughs> There are many buses and trains you can take from Tokyo to get to Yamanashi, but I decided to take the quick route about a one and a half hour train to the area before heading over to a small tour that starts at Shimo Yoshida Station. Flower roll sushi. This insta-perfect delicious roll is going to be my lunch for today. You can come with your own friends or join a group of up to five people and follow along with a translator to make your own unique design. A mixture of fish eggs and rice. Okay, so step one is to make these five different kind of like rice cigars. This is part of the design, so if you, if you don't do this part right, the rest of it will be messed up. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> cheese. Okay. Now we have five rice cigars and a cheese. Does it still look like a flower? <laughs> it's time to eat. Mm, it's not just pretty, it tastes good. And the cheese in the middle. I think that's my favorite part. Next, we're going for a hike. So I'm really excited about this next spot because if you've ever Googled Japan or Mount Fuji or anything like that, there's this one photo that always comes up in the search results. And it turns out that the place where you can see that photo is right up the mountain here. So I am going to reinvent the most iconic image of Mount Fuji. A lot of people call this place Chudeito in English, but in Japanese the original name is Arakura Fuji Sengen Jinja. Fujisan is right through the Tori Gate back there, so it's a perfect picture spot to get Mount Fuji and the Tori Gate inside of it. Our goal is to get to the top. This truly is the most iconic view, it's brilliant. This view of Mount Fuji and the Chirei Togoda right beside it. This is like on every postcard. This is the view that I have been waiting for throughout all of my travels in Japan. In the middle of the winter you can see Mount Fuji snow-capped and very clearly, but in the spring with the cherry blossoms on both sides and on the stairs leading up, especially in the morning, I know that this would be the perfect view. To the top, it's only about a 10 or 15 minute walk, but there's lots of temples and shrines you can see when you come back down. I've actually stayed in this area before, but I missed some of the hidden stories and secrets about the town here that you get when you come with a guide. Our next option was a local walking tour, visiting some of the best photo spots along the Shigura. A walkable town where you can see retro shops, or stop in for a bite or a taste of some of the local nightlife. Now we're walking kind of down this secret bar alley. When the lights come on, it has a funky vibe.
茶を召し上がっていただいてそれ,それからおうどんの作り方に入りますぜひよろしくお願いいたします。作っていただきたいなと思っておりますけど毎日のように食べてきたものですですから田舎風ではありますが今日は一日お付き合い願いたいと思います<笑>ごちそうさまでした生さんどうですかぴったりぴったりですありがとうございます少しずつね少しずつお兄さんさ、その水を全部入れちゃって、これで少しずつ入れて、そして今度は2つの手でかきます。あ、え、そのほうが早いと思う。This is a first. Stepping on Joe. This is a first for me. It's a very interesting feeling. Oh my god. Feels delicious. <laughs> so now the noodles are done, and we're going to make some rice balls and the actual soup that goes into the Hoto noodles. The great thing about Hoto is that you basically can add anything as long as you have the noodles, the fresh noodles. As long as you have the noodles, you can make almost any flavor of soup. The standard is using pumpkin and like shiitake and all these rich flavors, but you can also make like spicy flavors or whatever you want. So we're going to make some now. So now we put the noodles in to boil, and all we have to do is wait for the broth to get ready, and then we're going to eat it. So we heard a story while we were getting briefed at the beginning basically about how they made kind of like this lunch cantina for the local kids so that they could always have lunch when they're out every day. Hoto is kind of like the Yamanashi symbol of food. It's kind of like what's called meibutsu. The thing that's really great about Hoto, other than the fresh made noodles and the delicious ingredients, you can change the ingredients. You can add anything you want. So, one of the things they were talking about is that when they're changing this experience and making it open to English speakers, they want to make sure that they can. Make sure that people who don't eat meat, perhaps if they're halal, vegetarians, or vegans, they've been studying different types of food and styles so that they can adapt the hoto to anyone who comes to taste it. So that's really cool. Enough talk. Let me get back in there and help. I think I have to take your advice. I'm going to use the、uh, mega spork. Look at how good that looks. <laughs> The way that the kabocha pumpkin melts into the broth makes it really like creamy almost, round, almost sweetness to it. Hand rolled, hand cut, delicious noodles.、Mm. This will keep you warm in the winter. Rich flavor in a table shared with friends. Yamanashi is filled with easily accessible things to do and some of the most iconic views of Mount Fuji, both now and all year round.